friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa String Works Workshop, and it is Wednesday, May 4th, and uh, I've got the report from the doctor. <laughs> and as embarrassing as it is, I'm going to go ahead and tell you anyway, and it's something you guys already knew, he says I'm just full of it. <laughs> And yeah, you could have said, well, you guys knew that. <laughs> yeah, that's something I've struggled with my whole life. I've had, uh, you know, bound up issues <laughs> because of my diet, I'm sure. I don't think I've ever had these same symptoms, though, you know. And, and the, I, like, I don't typically get the irky feeling. I don't typically have the shoulder pain, and I don't typically you know, just have like pressure and bloating and stuff like that. I don't usually have that. I mean, I don't know why, but I don't. I did this time and maybe that's old age. I don't know. You know, he gave me one of the magic pills <laughs> and things have, you know, improved. Let's just say it that way. Uh, th those magic pills may not work on me like they work on you. <laughs> My wife, she can smell a magic pill, and she'll be running to the uh, facilities. Not me. Uh, not me. I'll walk very casually. <laughs> it, anyway, uh, it, it does seem like there's some improvement on the home front there. Now, he said that the shoulder pain, he you know, did some tests, and he said that it's brucitis. And, uh, you know, I'm going to say, like, 20 years ago, I was told I had brucitis. Well, I really haven't had any real problem with that, but you know, that's been flared up and getting pretty strong. I mean, those are some pretty strong pains every once in a while. So he, you know, you know, made me do the pull the shoulder thing and he was pushing around back there and he's going, see, if, if I can make it hurt, he says, it's not your gallbladder, you know, cause your gallbladder will make your shoulder hurt, but it, you know, you can't reproduce the pain and he could reproduce the pain by pushing on it. So he says that's brucitis. So he gave me a shot for that. And um, the only other thing that seemed to concern him, of course, was the numbness that I had on the whole right side of my body. I mean, like it would be my lips, my face, my arm, my leg, you know, even my torso. You instantly think, well, it's something to do with your brain if it's on one side of your body, you know. And he said, well, I don't think so. He says, I don't think that's a stroke or anything like that either. He said, he says, typically if it's like a stroke issue, you'll have the numbness on say like the right side of your body, but your face will have numbness on the other side. He said, typically the face is on the opposite side when you have the brain type thing. That's what he said. I got to go by him. He's the expert, not me. So I'm going to go by that. And uh, he's so he did run some blood tests and things, and they're check looking at that and trying to figure that out. I I will say one thing. Whenever I have that, I have the I have like a sharp pain in my right hip area where, and it's usually right after I've been sitting down. To me, it's more like a pinched nerve thing. But I told him that, and he said, "Well, but that doesn't hardly explain how it gets up in your face." Don't know on that part, but that's only happened three times and it's never really lasted very long. Maybe, well, the first time it happened, it did last about 10 minutes. The uh, rest of the times it's maybe lasted five minutes or, or less. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I really don't feel bad. I mean, I, overall, I feel pretty good. I, you know, for a guy that's 67, I'm, I'm not exaggerating at all. I can seriously walk up the steepest hill here and barely, barely be, even be out of breath. I mean, it just, you know, I'm very blessed in terms of the good health type thing. And so maybe you guys should quit eating green food. <laughs> I'm telling you, that stuff will kill you. <laughs> no, I know. It's just, it's just a strange thing. But, the, you know, I'm sure the green, not eating the green food is what gives me my, uh, blockage, uh, you know, type issues. As embarrassing as it is, now you know the whole truth and <laughs> nothing but the truth. I just want to mention one more thing, and that is that Emory is, has been out sick this week so far. In other words, Monday through today, she's still sick. I think she was sick over the weekend as well. I think Saturday, Sunday through to, to now. Uh, it seems like a real bad case of the flu type issue or something like that. So she went to her 
see her father yesterday, I believe, and, and uh, he's a doctor, so, you know, I think they're trying to figure out what the problem is. You can keep her in your thoughts and prayers as well. I hope she gets better real soon. We had another visitor again last night. Take a look at this. Yeah, Mr. Hogg came back again. You know, I say it's a bore and I say it's Mr. I, it's hard to tell on the videos, uh, the, especially that first video. And this one, you don't get to see enough of him hardly really, or up close enough or whatever, you know, it's just, it's kind of hard to tell, but he looks to be a pretty good sized hog. I may have to get up there and see if I can't entice him out in the daytime. <laughs> Bacon, at least it's not green, I could eat that. <laughs> And for those of you who don't believe in the hunting, shooting thing, I, I respect your beliefs and thoughts, but you also need to respect mine. And that is that uh, for some reason, I can't eat like you can. <laughs> I, I don't know why that is, but I cannot do it. So, you know, I got to eat the way I have to eat. And I had one guy, I, th I thought this, really the comment just, it's just eat up with irony. Or something I don't know what the problem is, but here's the comment. I just I just want to tell you because I did, I find some of these comments just fascinating. <laughs> and the comment was, you know, if you remember when I built the tower up there, and the comment was, well, you know, I can't believe you would shoot an animal or whatever, or something like that. I'm out of here. I'm unsubscribing. I'm out of here. Okay, fine. If you don't believe in, you know eating animals and shooting, you know, animals and things like that, which I, I totally respect that if you don't, that's okay. But to take it to that extreme that you're out of here and you're, you know, you're not. So let me ask you this, if you're that way, then do you boycott all roads, you know, in front of a McDonald's? Like in other words, you don't drive past a McDonald's. I mean, because obviously they serve meat. Do you not go to the grocery store uh, because obviously they sell meat? I mean, like, come on, give me a break. <laughs> Seriously, I, I totally respect your opinion. If you don't like hunting and fishing, that's fine. I totally understand that. But first of all, it's a different lifestyle and you don't live the lifestyle I do. Second of all, you certainly don't eat the way I do. <laughs> And you know, and to me, it's all about respect and understanding. And I, I have that respect and understanding for the, uh, for the wildlife too, you know, and I totally love to see wildlife. See, that's the thing most people don't understand about hunters is hunters are the last person on the planet that wants to see all the wildlife go away. I mean, they don't want to see it more than you don't want to see it. And that's why you don't get that, but the conservation, they promote hunting, don't get me wrong, they do, but that's why they're also called conservation. It works hand in hand, and people need to see both sides of that and not just make a snap judgment and fly off the handle and say, I'm unsubscribing and I'm out of here, you know. You gotta think about the whole thing. And it's all about attitude and things. Now, there's always scumbags in everything. There's people that go out and poach and do the wrong things all the time. And, you know, I don't agree with that, you know. So, you got to weigh it all. And even the poaching thing, you kind of need to weigh that. While it may not be legal, there may be some ethical reasons, you know. For instance, maybe you got to feed your family, you know. I mean, we're not all able to do the same things, you know, and some people are struggling, you know, and if they're poaching to feed their family, well, I might be able to look the other way on, in a situation like that, if it's, if that truly is the reason. Well, anyway, you got to understand, we all have to live and work together and help one another. That's, that's probably way more important than all the fighting and the struggling and the, you know, we just bicker online and just all this crud. <laughs> just think how much better it'd be if we'd all just try to help each other instead of the other way. That's about all I got in my way of my 67-year-old uh, wisdom here. Let's see, in terms of work for today, I'm gonna be doing some more sanding on that old Gibson guitar. I am somehow or another gonna get that thing out of here. It is driving me crazy and I'm tired of procrastinating on it. 
and it's not exactly procrastinating. It's just like it will not cooperate. It's, I guess the real way to think of it is it won't let me finish it. And I mean that both ways. It won't let me put the finish on it and, fit and, and do the finish, and it won't let me finish it and get rid of it. <laughs> but I'm going to find some way to beat that thing to death. It's going to find itself in submission in the next day or two. <laughs> because I am not going to give up. I want to remind you that there will be no shop talk this coming Friday morning. If I'm able to pull off a shop talk on Friday, it'll be in the afternoon. It'll be like one o'clock or two o'clock, some, something in that neighborhood on Friday afternoon, depending on what time I can make it back and actually get the shop talk going. The reason is I'm playing a show for an elementary school on Friday morning. You know, I can't change that. I, I got to work according to their schedule. Those of you who saw the shop talk last uh, Friday and saw the accident that Jesse had down, uh, down in Texas, uh, Jesse gave me a report yesterday, I believe it was, that he went back to the doctor and uh, that the doctor said he was doing very well, healing better than he thought it would heal. At least it's good news on that front. I'm sure it's still a little bit play it by ear for Jesse, but uh, his hand does you know, seem to be getting better and that's a good thing. So we're glad that uh, you're healing up, Jesse. Well, I think I'm going to keep it short today just because I need to get some work done. I didn't get anything done yesterday because of the video yesterday and the uh, trip to the doctor. And by the way, thank you so much for all the kind uh, remarks about the uh, video of my grandkids. Uh, they are very dear uh, to me and uh, truly I am extremely blessed. I told you before that on the big things in life, and I truly believe this, I'm the luckiest man on the face of the earth on the little things in life <laughs> i can't even say it without laughing i mean like if it can go wrong it will go wrong that's all i can tell you for sure gibson <laughs> but i you know i wouldn't trade it i'm i'm a very happy man so thank you so much for watching we'll see you tomorrow Beep.